7 Rarest Colors in the World Lapis Lazuli In ancient Persia and pre-Columbian America, Lapis Lazuli was a symbol of the starry night, and a favorite stone of the Islamic Orient for protection from the evil eye. Lapis was much used in Greek and Roman times as an ornamental stone, and in medieval Europe. Lapis Lazuli, resembling the blue of the heavens, was believed to counteract the wiles of the spirits of darkness and procure the aid and favor of the spirits of light and wisdom. Ground and processed into powder, it produced the intense, but expensive, ultramarine color favored by the painter, Michelangelo. Buddhists recommended lapis as a stone to bring inner peace and freedom from negative thought, and during the Renaissance, Catherine the Great adorned an entire room in her palace with lapis lazuli walls, fireplaces, doors and mirror frames. Lapis lazuli is a blue mineral so rare that in the Middle Ages and the Renaissance it was actually more valuable than gold. Today, it is still a much sought after stone prized for its intense blue hue. The most beautiful lapis lazuli stones are sourced in Afghanistan. Quercitron. Quercitron is a natural dye derived from the inner yellow bark of the black oak tree. Significant because it is one of only two natural dyes with the known discoverer, Quercitron receives merely a passing mention in sources of dyeing and printing history, textile design, economic history, and scientific texts. Edward Bancroft discovered Quercitron in 1771, received a British patent controlling the distribution of the dye for a period of 14 years in 1775 and had the patent extended for an additional 14-year term in 1785. He introduced the dye to printers in his 1794 manual experimental researches concerning the philosophy of permanent colors. When his patent expired in 1799, Quercitron was in high demand among calico printers and the drab style prints produced by the dye dominated the textile markets. Generally this is the extent of the Quercitron story. Quercitron is the yellow pigment that comes from bark of the Crocus Velutina black oak, a tree that grows in the eastern and midwestern parts of North America. Cochineal While the history of every pigment ever used by mankind has a fascinating geographical component, that of carmine red, also known as cochineal, is particularly intriguing. The bright, Red pigment was used by the Aztecs as early as the 10th century. It was exploited and monopolized by the Spanish for 300 years. Its ingredients crushed insects were kept secret until the invention of the microscope and industrial espionage on the part of the French and it is still used today in the textile, cosmetics, food and medical research industries though some of them also keep the ingredient secret. Cochineal Red dye stuff consisting of the dried, pulverized bodies of certain female scale insects, Dactylopius coccus, of the coccidal family, cactus eating insects native to tropical and subtropical America. Cochineal is used to produce scarlet, crimson, orange, and other tints and to prepare pigments such as lake and carmen. Dragon blood. Dragon blood is an evergreen tree that belongs to the genus Dracaena. It can be found on the Socotra archipelago four islands in the Indian Ocean. Dragon blood tree grows in harsh, arid areas that are rich in limestone. Large groups of dragon blood tree can be found in foggy, cloudy regions. Dragon blood tree is remainder of the subtropical forests that existed during the Pliocene. Despite its long history and unique morphology, future of dragon blood tree is uncertain due to over-exploitation by humans, habitat fragmentation and climate changes. Dragon blood tree is currently classified as vulnerable many beautiful, interesting, and strange plants live on our planet. One very unusual species is the Socotra Island Dragon Blood Tree, or Dracaena cinnabari. This tree not only has a very distinctive appearance but also releases a red sap, or resin, that is known as dragon's blood. People have collected and used the resin for many years. According to legend, 
The first dragon blood tree was created from the blood of a dragon that was wounded when it fought an elephant. Like the unfortunate dragon, the tree secretes its resin when it's injured. In ancient times the resin was believed to have magical and medicinal properties. People used it as a pigment for art, a dye, and a medicine. Dragon's blood is still used for these purposes today. Mummy Brown Mummy Brown was unique as a pigment not only because of its origin but also because of the color. Unlike other pigments that are derived from organic sources like a singular plant or mineral, Mummy Brown was as unique as the person or animal it came from. Other factors to take into consideration were the region the mummy came from, the time of their burial, and what chemical or organic components may have been used during the mummification process and burial. Needless to say, there was not just one recipe discovered for this pigment. While some called for a specific body part like the muscles, others made use of the whole mummy. Regardless, the end result was often a brown pigment similar to raw and burnt umber. The pigment was regarded for its transparency. Considered to be a highly variable pigment between raw umber almost greenish brown and burnt umber a ruddy air brown. Mummy brown was a transparent brown good for mixing and it was appalling. Made from ancient Egyptian human and feline mummies grave robbed investigated as antiquities in Europe. There was a craze to use the bodies for everything from fertilizer to beauty creams to fine art paint pigment. Brazil wood. The word Brazil Brasil in Portuguese comes from the Spanish rosa and Old French rays, meaning embers or glowing coals. From the color of Brazil wood. Brazil wood was first mentioned as a dye in 1321, sourced from the East Indies in India and obtained from sapin wood trees. This red dye was in high demand throughout the Renaissance. It was traded in powder form and it was difficult to obtain. In medieval times, only sapin wood was available in Europe. However, in 1500 the Portuguese landed in South America and found that Brazil wood trees grew in abundance along the coast. The tree was of such economic importance that the Portuguese eventually named the country after the trees found there. Brazil is the only country in the world named after a natural dye. The heart wood of several species of sea salpinia trees gives a lovely range of strong red dyes ranging from deep crimsons to pinks. Most Brazil wood sold as a dye comes from sapin wood, an Asian tree grown in managed plantations, and Asian Brazil wood is not endangered, in contrast to Brazil wood from Brazil. Cadmium yellow First introduced in the mid-19th century, cadmium yellow pigment was used by many impressionists who fell in love with its zesty appearance. Unfortunately, Cadmium is an extremely toxic metal that is known to cause cancer, kidney failure and softening of the bones, among other life-threatening health conditions. Cadmium was commonly used in children toys up until the 1970s and these days is predominantly used in batteries. The source of cadmium yellow pigment is cadmium sulfide in its pure form. Cadmium is a silvery white bluish color in 1817. German scientist Friedrich Strohmeyer discovered a new metallic element, called cadmium, on accident when heating zinc in his laboratory. Typically, zinc remains white when heated, but while conducting routine tests, he observed a sample of zinc carbonate that formed a bright yellow oxide rather than white. However it wasn't until the 1840s that the color began being produced industrially. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification or bell icon above for more updates. Thank you guys, for watching.